Hello friends and welcome to my channel. I have been dreaming of a warm, loose and girly dress that I could wear at home. Something that I can sit on the floor with and do my sewing. So I went and bought some mulesing free merino wool knit to make myself a dress. Then I started a plan. A turtleneck might add some Edwardian aesthetics to this otherwise modern dress. I wanted the bodice to be loose with a raised waistline. The sleeves could be dropped and bishop shape. Then there should be cuffs into which the white sleeves can be gathered. Then two tiers for the skirt part. I couldn't find a pattern, but I did have this old tunic that had a loose fit and dropped shoulders. I could use it for reference and then change everything in it. I determined the good width by just pinning away the extra at the side. Then I used the tunic to draw a simple pattern. I kept the shoulder slope like it was. I imagined the sleeve line continuing inward and drew a new armhole. The side seam goes where my pin was when I tried the tunic on. I sketched on the front and back neckline, but decided to later to fit the neckline properly after I had cut the bodice. I cut the front and back at the same time on the fold. As you can see, I didn't cut any neckline, as I didn't know the exact shape yet. Before fitting the neckline, I needed to sew the shoulder seams. a tiny neckline just big enough to slide my head through it. As the fabric is stretchy, this can be done even if the neckline is shorter than my head's circumference. To make a turtleneck, the actual neckline should be right where the neck starts, like here. I put the bodice on and use tailor's chalk to mark the approximate position for the neckline. Now I can cut the neckline leaving about 1.5 cm seam allowance. By aligning the shoulder seams, I can lay the bodies flat and make sure that my neckline is symmetric. Here is how I estimated the sleeve length. I took a very conservative measurement starting from the body's armhole over my bent elbow all the way to the wrist. I even added some extra as I could always trim it away, but I couldn't add fabric. Let's draw a pattern for the sleeve. The upper edge has the same length as half the armhole. Then I measured down the length of the sleeve. Then I had to estimate how wide my bishop's sleeve could be at the bottom. Something like this. Then I joined the top to the bottom with a curved line. Before adding the sleeve, however, I had to stabilize the shoulder seams, as the shoulders would otherwise stretch. I took some black ribbon and just stitched it on under the seam allowance. Here are the sleeves, and with some editing magic, here they are already fastened to the bodies. Now we can sew the sleeve seam and the side seam in one go.
However, the sleeves ended up being way too long. Better than shorten them, I decided to add two horizontal pleats. I made a cuff by just measuring around my wrist and adding some extra. I then gathered the sleeve to the cuff and surged it on. At this point I decided to add the turtleneck color. I cut a strip of fabric and just tried it on like this to see what would be the good width and height. Then I trimmed the strip to the right size. I sewed the collar to a ring with my sewing machine to avoid the bulkiness a serge seam would have. After I ironed the seam open, it is almost invisible. In fact, I have an annoying habit of putting this dress on backwards as I am mistaking the back of the collar to the front. Next, I folded the collar and pinned it to the neckline. Then I attached the collar with my serger. Now, I had all the rest of the fabric to use for the ruffled hem. There was enough fabric to cut four strips. I then shortened two of those to the length of one meter and added the remaining bits from the one meter strip to the two remaining longer strips. So this made one 2 meter long ruffle and another 4 meter ruffle to attach to it. I had a small bit of fabric left, so I decided to add a pocket to the right hand side side seam. I ripped the seam open and added the pocket. It only took a few minutes and one pocket is so much more useful than no pockets at all. And now the reveal. I really love how this dress turned out. It is super comfy and warm and I have already worn it a lot. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye!